Hello and welcome on Mars. My name is Saeed and I'll be your personal guide. On behalf of the United Government of Mars, I would like to welcome you to your second home, wishing you a pleasant stay on the Red Planet. It's our pleasure to be your host of the 70th anniversary of humanity's first colony on Mars. As the guest of honor of this year's Planetary Government Summit of 2117, we invite you to join us in celebrating our past while striving to build a better future. We are pleased to inform you that a special tour has been organized for the attendees of this year's summit. Please look around the HTV to familiarize yourself with the vehicle. We do have 2.5 kilometers before we reach the city limits, so kick back, relax, and enjoy the ride. The story of humanity is one of overcoming all kinds of challenges. And for humans to thrive on Mars since 2037, the United Government of Mars had to utilize transformation technologies. From rovers and ships that can transport visitors and cargoes in the harshest environments with ease, to terraformers that will transform Mars from a desolate planet to one that fits the needs of the citizens of the United Government of Mars and the estimated needs of generations to come as well as innovative multi-purpose robots that can perform many tasks such as mining the Martian soil, 3D printing new structures and replicating more models of itself, perform repairs and maintenance tasks, and almost everything you can think of when it comes to sustaining a whole city on Mars. This is the first city on Mars, the City of Wisdom. Its historic outpost represents the growth of the first city and how the first settlers on Mars had to innovate and utilize what they had from resources to make Mars a permanent home for humanity, much like the desert Bedouins did back on Earth. In the first settlement, there are units dedicated to geology and water exploration, gravity and atmosphere, soil composition and mining, radiation and energy harvesting, and finally, the largest real-time deep space communication base located out of Earth. You can even see one of the first rovers to explore Mars, Opportunity, here on your right. Welcome to the capital of the United Government of Mars. The United Government of Mars is the regulatory body in charge of the planet's development and its relations with Earth and other colonies. It consists of members of advanced space exploration agencies and their ambassadors representing their homelands, and the original signees of the Deep Space Treaty and Colonization Protocol of 2024. Article 3 of the Colonization Protocol states that if any government is to be created on another world, that government and its people are independent from Earth's authority and influence. As long as its residents have received a coexistence certification from the original signees of the Colonization Protocol of 2024. Being one of the founding members of Mars's United Government and due to its highly advanced space program, the government of the UAE has its mission constantly present on Mars, with ambassadors and their staff being deployed on a two-term basis. The United Government of Mars's policies are focused on scientific research, with a concentration on two major development trajectories, the further deep space population programs and the Earth Energy Preservation and Support Protocol, designed for supercharging the depollution of our Earth. The City of Wisdom is divided into different zones. The zone philosophy is to bundle complementary programs in the city into units, and for cooperation to foster within the zones with the goal of maintaining coexistence in each of the different zones. Currently, Wisdom houses 600,000 residents and 200,000 monthly visitors from Earth and other colonies. The people of Mars represent the best humanity has to offer the universe. Those not born on Mars leave their past lives behind and venture into deep space in the efforts to become pioneers and push humanity's limits in the farthest of frontiers. 
However, Mars's harsh environment presents a set of challenges, and to beat those challenges in a united and inclusive manner, all visitors and residents go through the Martian living orientation. Situated in the greenest areas of the city, the Research and Education Zone with the University of the Martian Culture and Development is continuing the efforts not only to terraform Mars, but serving as the city's humidifier and food production unit, as well as a peaceful and soothing nook for that once hostile, cold, and lifeless place, serving as a symbol for the joint efforts to make Mars ultimately a livable planet. Much of what we see today is thanks to the efforts of Mars's first settlers and their pioneering endeavors. By following their lead, the United Government of Mars has been able to build wisdom for generations to come. With policies that focus on scientific research and innovation, our research and education philosophies focus on terraforming Mars and making it into a habitable planet. This city embodies the manifestations of dreams and hopes of humanity towards a unified vision of life thriving on Mars. This city owes its existence to pioneers just like you that started with a vision and turning it into a dream that is driving an entire species to make the city achievable. As humanity aimed for the stars, challenges seems to be everywhere. But it was not until humans began to work collectively focusing on scientific development and begin to coexist with one another that it was able to start its journey into the final frontiers of the cosmos. And now for the event that you've been waiting for. Welcome to the Planetary Government Summit of 2117.